Oh, another Hangman's Gambit. Okay. What are we going to say here, then? What's the word? Rip. Oh, God. Uh... Rep. Rip. Rep. Is it... It's got to be a vowel. Uh... Rap. Oh, God, I don't know. Rep. Pl... Oh, replit. Replicate? No, rep... rep. Ah, it's gotta be I. It's gotta be I. Where's I? Give me an I. Is there no I? In which case, it's probably not I. No, it's gotta be A. Oh, there's an I there! No! Oh, replace! I totally knew that. Replaced. Replaced. I totally got that, guys. I knew exactly what that word was from the get-go. Totally yeah, knew it. That's it. What if she switched places with someone else? <sighs> nail. Hammer. Head of nail. Bang. Switch places? That's right. Before the spears could kill her, she got someone to take her place. Specifically, Mukuro Ikusaba. Yes, yes, yes. Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Yes, which we've agreed is likely. Um, and again, Mukuro being the soldier is probably what... Well, then again, I mean... Wasn't Mukuro supposed to be in that despair group? I, that, I mean, we we're still we still need some details, but it's... yeah. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything match Lucro's profile, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know anything about this switching places thing, but... That had to be Junko who got stabbed to death, right? We thought. Yeah, you're saying they switched? When could they even have done that? It's more why. It's the more why that I'm trying to figure out. Right when she was uh, about to die? Like she used some kind of ninja replacement technique? Oh, uh, I wish I had some ninja replacement technique. Good point. There's just no way they could have switched like that. Of course they could. Um... But, I mean, I understand why the Mastermind would want to appear to be dead. But why would the other person go along with it? Unless they didn't know they were going to be killed. Which is actually probably... Maybe true. So maybe the whole idea is wrong. No, 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 no. There has to be some way. I need to figure out how to explain how they could have switched. They switched at the beginning. I got it! The two of them... They had switched places from the very beginning. Mm-hmm. What? From the beginning? Yeah, you know, like, the beginning of the game. Yes, from the moment we first met. If that's when they switch... Then they wouldn't have had to switch at the moment of death, right? Yeah, which would be impossible. After all, the one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Yep. Uh, hold on. So, you're saying the Junko we first met... ...is actually Mukuro all along? Mm. Um, we'd already met her? Yeah. Wild, isn't it? I had, like, a normal conversation with her. I don't remember ever talking to her, but I'm sure I may have done. When we first met, none of us knew who anyone else was. Yeah, thank- even though we- We need to get back to the other side of this. Um, the fact that we've all been here before and somehow had our memories erased. But, um, cause we, so we obviously did know who we all were, but... Memory shit. Amnesia. So Mukuro could have simply told us her name was Junko. Yeah. I mean, how would we ever- why would we doubt it? And we never would have known the difference. Uh-huh. That would easily allow the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. Wait! But Mukuro had a tattoo on the back of her hand, right? Yeah, that's the only thing. She'd have to hide that somehow. Well, then again, we wouldn't have questioned the tattoo at the time, would we? 
never had any tattoo like that, did she? I mean, it's also quite easy to cover up a tattoo. Just put some makeup on it or something. She could have hidden it with foundation or something like that. Yeah, yeah. If she did, it likely melted away in the explosion, exposing the tattoo after the body was extinguished. Uh-huh. Plus, there were the fake nails found on the hands of Mukuro's body. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would tie into the whole pretending to be someone else. They were the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met for the first ah, time. Ah, you see, I completely forgot about that. But if she really did use foundation... Correct. Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. So I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out huh. who attacked Makoto. Uh, yeah. But too bad for you, Monokuma. You can't deny it anymore. Ooh. Wait, so this whole thing was a setup from the very beginning? How are you shocked by this, Hero? If that's true, it was quite an elaborate plan to be sure. Making it look like Mukuro was Junko. Yeah, but the question is, why would Mukuro want to do that? Unless she was forced. The reason such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. Right. And the real Junko basically tricked um, Mukuro. So Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up with someone like her. In other words, it would be fair to say that Junko herself was also the ultimate despair. What's wrong? Lost the will to fight back. I think he's just afraid. Mm. Or he's about to do something absolutely insane. Afraid? What's that mean, afraid? Oh boy. Fear is only possible where hope is possible. I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Then why haven't you been saying anything? Because it's a bunch of nonsense. Junko's my secret identity. <laughs> As if. As if. Then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? Yeah, good question. I tried to protect your identity? Go ahead. Tell me when I ever did anything like that. The photos. The photos. When did I do that? Still refuses to admit it, but... He can try to deceive us all he wants, it doesn't matter. Because I've already figured it out. He tried to hide Junko's identity, and not just once, but twice. First time is during our latest investigation. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, which one was it? Which one? Where? where? Group photo! That's gotta be right. Unless it was. He said twice. Um. Let's just go for the group photo. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Tried to keep me from seeing during the investigation. Well, that is... He did try to stop us from seeing Junko's face in the photos. Okay. Um... Uh, what was it? First time was during... Oh god, this is where I'm, I'm also gonna mess up a lot. Uh When's Genocide Jack's memory's gonna memory gonna come into play, by the way? Also, I'm running out of time. Um Oh god, I don't know. Was it Was it it wasn't the injury, was it? Oh god guys, I'm not actually quite sure. This is probably super, super obvious. Uh... Oh, the file, maybe? Yeah, the file, because he... Oh, no. Ah, oh, really? Because he did, he did say, oh yeah, that body's, uh, Makuro's. Although that is true, actually. It was. Oh, crap, I've game overed again. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna have a shit rank on this one. What a shame. What a shame. Let's try again. I refuse to give up yet. It's gotta be the group photo, unless I'm just not supposed to choose the group photo yet. The two of them may have 
Which point? Oh god, we have to see this again? Really? Yes, if that's what Skip. Skip. Then they wouldn't have had to switch. Yes. After all, the one we saw at that point would have already been. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, really? We have to why do we have to see this again? Just take me back to that question. I might save. I might save at the next. That would be Wait. Come on. Really? Is there a way of skipping this quicker? They were Just keep going, keep going. We need to leave that. We need to leave that. But what I think Okay. <laughs> right. Then why did I win? Right. Okay. I'm going to quickly do a save. Because I don't want to have to skip all that crap again. Right. I'm trying to see if Azul, he wants to uh, already figured it out. He tried to hide Junko's identity, not just once, but twice. Those times during our latest investigation. Um... Oh, biolab secret. Oh, what? Really? Shoot. It was all done to hide her identity. Oh, God. All right, keep trying. We'll, we'll get it eventually, guys. It is going to be trial and error. Oh, the lights. No, for fuck's sake. <laughs> ah! We're going to just choose all of these. The interview DVD? The fatal injury. Let's try that. No. What? Shoot. Was it the interview DVD? Places to check? Interview DVD. I got it. What? While I was in the AV room. Watching oh. the DVD of our interviews with the headmaster. He turned the DVD player off. That's what it. Yeah. Before we got to to uh, to see Junkos. Uh, right. Sorry. I completely forgot he'd done that. Yeah. Wasn't just a moment to the DVD. Yeah. Turned it off. Uh, oopsie. Okay. I couldn't finish watching the video, and the reason you did that. I bet the other one's gonna be the the group photo, right? Is because you didn't want me to see the real Junko, did you? Oh yeah. If everyone was in that video, of course Junko would have had to show up. Yeah, and I'm guessing, obviously, the 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 fate. I'm. I bet Junko's real face looked quite different. Which now explains why it was obscured in the photos, because we would have seen that it was a different person. It would have been totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter. Yeah. But that whole power outage thing was just a fluke! Sure. It wasn't a fluke. The mastermind definitely orchestrated that power outage. And that's not the only time he tried to hide Junko's identity. Okay, so now I go for the photo. Now we get the group photo. Oh, what? It's not another one! Oh. Come on, give me give me more. Okay, maybe I don't want to use my focus too soon. Punishment is waiting for you. Are you sure about this? You're getting all riled up. That's impossible. All right, we nearly got it. Reload. Okay, this is... Crap, crap. Punishment is waiting for you. Oh, come on. You're getting all riled up. That's impossible. I failed it. Oh, you're kidding me. I was so close. I 
bloody hate that mini game. Why does it make me do it twice in the same bloody trial? Oh, I hate it. 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 I refuse to give up yet. Right. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna blow my load too soon on that one. I'm not gonna use my focus at the beginning. We got this. Just let me choose the group photo for fuck's sake. Noises though. All right, here we go. Punishment is waiting for you. Are you sure about this? You're getting all riled up. That's impossible. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me, give me another one. Here we go. Right, which bullet? That's impossible. No, nope, wrong one. Group photo. Yes. Oh. oh, I thought we were gonna run out of time. I thought we were gonna run out of time. The video wasn't the only thing you tried to cover up. You did the same thing with this group photo. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I noticed it just a little while ago. When we were all comparing the photos we got, in all the photos, there's a certain similarity. An unusual circumstance. I'm glad I noticed this. I'm glad I noticed this. What, what's so unusual about them? Yes, Junko's face is obscured. I, we never did see Toko's picture though, did we? Junko's face. I got it. Junko's face. The one thing common to every single photo is that you can't see her face. Yeah, uh, we get it. <laughs> we get it. Her face would just happen to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? Mm. And on top of that, in this photo, you can see that Mukuro is clearly visible. So in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. Yes. With all that in mind, there's no doubt that the girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. Which is why you had to have pictures that didn't show her face. Because if we could have seen her face, then it would have clearly revealed that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. Xanadu! <laughs> Xanadu? I believe everything Makoto said is true. Junko and Mukuro switched places before we met either of them. Or re-met them, because we had met them before, but we'd forgotten. So she killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, making it look like she died, and the real Junko is still alive. Yes! And she's the one behind this whole murderous situation, this killing game. She's the true mastermind and the ultimate despair. I mean, that's got to be right, right? Xanadu times two! It's got to be. With this, the identity and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed. The only problem is now we need to figure out the mystery. Like, why this is all happening. No, no, wait, now hold on! You sweating like, you sweating like a, 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 a bull in a china shop. Don't bother trying to deny it. There's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. I'll prove everything, right now! Oh, now we've actually got, oh, of course. Of course, I forgot this, we have to do this. Right. What was the identity of the ultimate fashionista who I met in the main hall? Oh god, right, let's have a look. Uh... I mean, that was... That was Junko. Uh, uh, uh... You know, um... M M Mukuro. 
I guess I'll use that one. Probably, that's probably wrong. Um, no, it might be right. Alright, what's this one say? The mastermind attacked me with something. What was it? It was a knife. It was a big, scary knife. Uh, when the master mastermind attacked me, who was it that stopped them? It was Kyoko, my bestie. My bestie forever. Uh, I see now which one. Uh, could be either that one or this one. I'm just going to go with this one. After the surprise attack failed, the mastermind fled my room. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Now, yeah, I might have to swap those two round. I might have to swap those two round. What did the mastermind do with the mask after they took it off? God knows. Uh. Let's just put that there then. I have no idea. What was the condition of the dead body when I first found it in the garden? Uh, blown the fuck up. No, it was it was that. It was that. We didn't get the explosion yet. Uh, then kaboom by Toko. We couldn't identify the mysterious body because it got blown up. It's gotta be this one. Wait, is that the end? There's more to it than that. Page. Oh, I missed one. Uh, where did the mastermind keep Mukor's body? It was in the morgue. Biolab, whatever. I think that might be right. There might be some I have to swap around, but I think generally that's kind of accurate, maybe. Here's exactly what happened. We met the ultimate fashionista, Junko and Oshima, right after we all arrived. But that wasn't the real Junko. Mm hmm Did I get it right? The girl we yes. saw before us was actually the 16th student who had taken Junko's place. And that girl's name was Mukuro Ikusama. Act 2. But it wasn't long before she died at the hands of Monokuma. In other words, the mastermind, mm. Junko, and Oshima. Yeah. Still confused why, though. Why? Her body was kept in a bio lab, which had been converted into a morgue, until Junko decided to put her body to use. Damn. Junko messed up. dragged the body out of the bio lab, using the tarp to carry her to the garden. She fabricated the murder to try and frame Kyoko, who proved to be one big thorn in her side. Meanwhile, she wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. No! God damn it. It's the other way around. It's the other way around. Fine. Grab that one. There we go. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll do it. Here's exactly what happened. Meanwhile, she wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive and hiding. Yeah. Yes. So she put on a mask and then attacked. I'm gonna have such a shit rank at the end of this trial. After making sure I'd gotten a good look at the mask, she left the room. Then she put the same mask on Mukuro's body. That's a creepy drawing, by the way. That is really creepy. This was all to make us think the person who attacked her and the corpse were one and the same. She wanted us to believe the murder had only recently taken place. 
Dun dun dun. Kaboom. <laughs> Bye, Toko. It's probably my favorite scene in the game. Finally, by strapping a bomb to the body, she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. She needed to hide the body's true identity. She had to make sure we didn't find out it was actually the same person we have met in the beginning. This is the truth behind Mukuro's murder. Yeah, that makes sense. And the one who carried it all out is the true mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. <sighs> the real Junko and Oshima. Oh, I think we got her. That's the whole story behind this incident. Well, what do you have to say to that? It's a lot of ellipses. What? Are you broken again? You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan to keep hiding? The heck? <laughs> Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Over? Oh. <laughs> oh god, that laugh. That's not a good sign. Did you really think the story would end once we reached the climax of the case? I mean, we still haven't figured out the mystery of the school, though. We've only done one half of this. Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! I, I knew it. Holy shit! Hello, Junko. Nice to finally meet you. We have been waiting, waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear. That's not a voice I expected. If you swear your fealty to us, we will reward you with half of the entire world! What? We've even drawn up the deed already. We will grant you honor, status, in some of our home cooking. What the fuck? Have you made your choice? Will you serve under us? Uh, no thanks. Oh, did you think I was being serious? Sorry, I was just messing with you. God damn it, what the- I was just like, what the shit is happening? Um... It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. That's kind of a creepy voice, actually. Because I do like her uh, hair ornaments. This is the mastermind? She's the real Junko Inoshima? Anyway, looks like I've finally been set free. Just like, oh, oh, I guess you found me. Having to play Monokuma all the time? Day after day. And we didn't make you do that. That's your choice. It was like I was stuck in purgatory. Or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? Your face! Huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. That's a very specific thing to tell someone. Well, no, it's not really. I do remember seeing it. I'm sure, I've seen it. There's... Before arriving at school in the headmaster's room? I'm not actually sure. No, that's wrong. Damn it. Damn it. Shoot! In the before before, sure I've seen it. It's definitely before before I oh before I, okay before arriving at school okay. I got it. That's right. It was before I ever came to the school. I remember seeing the magazine cover, and you were on it. Oh, yeah, because she's a fashionista. 
Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? No. <laughs> so I was right. Then what you told me in the main hall when this all began... Oh! Oh, well, that's fucking great. I like that. I like- I've seen her tons of magazine covers. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but the, I feel like the, that doesn't quite match up to the reality. Wow, that's a very subtle little thing that no one's gonna fucking pick up on. That's really good. I bet this whole game, when you play it again, knowing this, you, there's probably a bunch of cool little hints, especially if you end up spending time with her somehow. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> oh shit! That's really good. I don't. I mean, I don't remember that conversation because it's been so long ago. Wow. Wow. Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. Wouldn't you agree? That explains why she didn't quite seem the same. Because she was a different person all along. I'm me. And Mukuro is Mukuro. Was Mukuro. She tried her best. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. I love how, like, bored she sounds. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. Not even if they're twins. What? I know. It's such a cliche, right? <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. So basically, Rukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. Holy shit. The older sister, tough and proud. That was Mukuro. The younger sister, smart and cute. That was... You killed your own sister. <laughs> Me! Junko fucking Anishima! What the fuck? Together, we were the Despair Sisters, aka the Ultimate Despair! What the shit? Oh, she's a totally different person. Oh now. my god, I love her. Like I said, I get bored easy as hell. I even get fucking bored with myself. Holy fuck. But if, if you're twins, why do you have different last names? Different parents? Oh, that again? You have any idea how many times people ask me that shit? Maybe it's new to your dumbass, but it pours me to tears. Answering the same questions over and over? Just make up whatever answer you want. I don't give a shit. The truth's fucking lame anyway. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. But if she was your twin, that means you killed your own sister? It's funny that Hina's kind of looking this way, talking to her, and she stood right next to her. Um. And for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean. Ha! As if! Well, I suppose I'd better explain. Oh my god. This is brilliant. For my plan to work, someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. But after looking at the situation, I determined it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform such duties. Because naturally, she turned out to be the letdown of the family. Wow. Leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So, I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. Why would she agree to this? I could have let her work alongside me, but she would have been useless to me that way. Besides, 15 students seemed like a solid number to start with. Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously rank, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive. What? It was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. Meanwhile, my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's... why you switched identities? 
Sadly, her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause. Why would Mukro agree to this? She was nothing more than a bit player, an extra, unworthy of lines. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Which is precisely why I killed her. To meet everyone's expectations. That can't be your only reason, can it? Well, no, of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? If I planned everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, that'd be so boring. So what, did you on purpose antagonize her to make her attack Monokuma? Has, and she probably thought, well, she's not going to kill me, because she's my sister. But why did Mukuro want to come here in the first place? Maybe because they, they did share a, a passion for despair? I, I, don't, I don't know. So, I changed things just a bit and decided to use Mukuro to make a little point. Oh my god. In other words, Ooh -woo. Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal. Just as I suspected. When Mukuro was killed... She must have been as surprised as anybody else. Yeah, which matches the look on her face when she was killed. She was like, what the fuck? Ah. Oh. Oh, oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> so you figured it out? Well, you're right. There's no way Mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance. No, it was for real. But she did teach you all a very valuable lesson, don't you think? Yeah, that's mental. How can you talk like that? You sacrificed your own sister. How does that not even bother you? What? I sacrificed her? That's what's got you so hot under the collar? Jeez, misunderstandings sure are scary. <laughs> oh my god. Seem like a big deal to Makuro. We're just those kinds of people. We can do anything. I mean, I still need to know the logistics of how the fuck you've managed to set this all up and what's actually going on. But wow. We've always been filled with despair. So when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret. So you just murdered your own sister and didn't think anything of it? I mean, a part of me wishes I could be like that and just not give a fuck. Um, still messed up, though. That's not true at all. Oh, my God. We were twins. How could I not be sad? Why have you got mushrooms in your head now? That's why it gets me so excited. She's like Toko. Killing my precious sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. It's like super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. Super, 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 super despair. Oh my god. It just feels so good. What the hell is wrong? <laughs> you know, right? And my sister too. In that moment of death, I think she must have felt that despair. After all, to be murdered by your own sister and only as an example to someone else. She must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. I knew you couldn't be just some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. That's one way of putting it. Turning your own despair into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. Like, Genocide Jill is crazy for sure, but this is a whole nother level of nuts. Yeah, speaking of which, that Genocide Jill's memory still hasn't factored in. 
Oh, I think I may have just figured out when it is. That's going to come into play when it talks about the memory um, fuckery that happened to us. I bet Genocide Jill remembers the before times. I bet she does. I bet Toko doesn't. Her memory was erased. Genocide Jill's hasn't. I, and I bet she's just gonna be like, well, nobody asked me. I bet that's what it is. Anyway. You're saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can only kill the weak, right? So, I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate human. Hopelessly humble human. No. I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Yeah. Master's way more perfect, because on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. Hmm. Don't you mean add that noble blood? What did you just say? What do you mean by that? <laughs> you still haven't figured that part out yet? Man, you guys are so slow! Oh my god, I love it! You haven't even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are, yap, yap, yapping away! Are you talking about our memories? Yes. You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer, so how about the next one? Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing memories, then you can start floating! Damn straight! That's exactly what we're going to do! We're going to solve all these mysteries! And then, we'll have our victory! <laughs> I can't wait! And I can't wait either, but I'm afraid that's where we're going to have to end this episode. Holy shit! That was brilliant. That was brilliant. I, I am... That was so satisfying. I mean, there's still obviously things we need to find out, and that'll happen next time. Thank you for watching. Junko is the mastermind, and now could be my favorite character already. Um, holy shit. Wow. <laughs> um, I am just like, wow. Bye-bye for now.